Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we talk about the artistic journey and yeah you might not see a comic right now but this is totally comics related and um, art journey related so bear with me it will not be a long video um, so um, since I'm 13 or 11 Uh, the thing I want to do most is do comics and um, my journey was to seek a career in comics. Um, I went to movie school here in Germany. That was the closest we had to um, getting somehow um, an education or like in storytelling and doing movies And so that's where I went. I, I worked a bit for um, television movies and animated movies. Um, but when I was not drawing for myself or not creating stories, um, I kind of felt bad. Like, as you can see on my channel, there are a lot of uh, my own ideas. And this is also a comic idea. I want to do something in the likes of J. Scott Campbell, uh, Adventure Girl, but this is like James Bond and The Shadow. Um, it's a guy that, uh, this, is, this is a story about fulfilling your human potential and becoming uh, an ubermensch, but um, in a very, very basic sense and going on adventures and stuff like that. So what does this have to do with this painting and picture? Um... I will quote in a second from The War of Art, Breakthrough Blocks uh, and, um, and Win Your Inner Creative Battles. So um, I was painting something in the summer just to relax. It's a, it's a big painting. It's uh, down in my basement. But as you can see, um, I was planning uh, to paint probably this Dua Lipa painting up here. This is just a A4 sketch. But imagine this one. Um, beautifully drawn, uh, really, really big, a couple of meters high, uh, like a door. And then I don't want to really sell it, but um, if it would sell, I would make money. I would love the process of painting, selling, and then taking the money and um, painting a bit more uh, and maybe doing then comics or having a bit more time for doing comics because and this is not just exclusive to me when I do uh, a normal job um, my soul kind of dies and that's probably okay that's widely accepted and all of that but it's not just my soul it's sometimes also my body and uh, sometimes I think it's just not worth it it's not worth to sacrifice my body and soul um, to do stuff I don't like and maybe there's more money in this and um, so I did a painting uh, in the summer and someone told me or asked me um, a good colleague of mine uh, would you love to paint me um, a Tina Turner what would it cost and um, I made up a price something that made me kind of smile and he said okay that's a bit too high can we go a bit lower and I said absolutely that's fine and so we went a bit lower and I was uh, pretty fine with that and so a week ago I finally had a time or uh, at the beginning of the month to paint up a Tina Turner not this one the first one um, but I kind of drew her up like I eyeballed it and then I drew it And he kind of liked it, but he wanted to it. He wanted to look it more like the picture, and so I said, "Okay, I gotta do it a second time." The first time something went wrong; I didn't do it fully right. And this is the nugget of this um, this video: that the, art the artistic de endeavor is not marked by just you just going up, 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 up. But it's like you go up, then you go down, up, down, up, down, and probably. Hopefully you climb up that mountain of success and money, but along the way you will do mistakes inevitably and um, 
it's totally fine to make those mistakes, but you got to learn from them. And I share a few with you. So in the first one, I was just um, taking my eye and measuring it, but it didn't, it, it, it wasn't quite the same. Then the second time I was looking at um, probably using a beamer or tracing it, I went down uh, this like two um, A4 papers will fit here on this one. So I took it uh, in my Photoshop and I created something where I got just the outlines and then I printed out the outlines of her, her head on an A4 paper and then matching of her body. And then I put some um, graphite on the back of it, but not... Uh, not from a pencil, this wasn't strong enough, enough. I had to use um, artistic graphite, which is like um, almost like charcoal-like. And then I put it on the back, I put it on the picture. Uh, it, didn't, um, it didn't smudge. And then I started uh, tracing that with a pen. And so um, I had the outlines on my canvas and now I had the proper, the proper propor proportions of this painting. And then I was painting it. And finally, um, the customer was really happy. And then I wanted to varnish it. And on a camera, um, it doesn't show. But it's, as you can see here, um, it's a bit brownish, yellowish. And with my own eyes, um, it's much more yellow than you can see on the camera. Um, probably it doesn't show, but like the varnish this time um, let me down. And I didn't know why, because like um, I varnished a lot of paintings and every time I varnished a painting, it was just fine. Nothing really happened, but this time it stained it in a yellow coffee-like um, almost yellow greenish thing and not that it destroyed the picture but it changed it it changed it from from white to 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 yellowish here here you can see this is this is proper white and if the camera takes um, the proper white balance now you can see how the painting looks how, how brownish yellowish the painting looks and um, it was kind of disaster. I was thinking, okay, what do I do now? Um, you kind of destroyed the painting. You do need the money um, because this mon month I'm on a tight budget. And so I was eager to get out the painting and collect the money. And now it's kind of stained and yellowish. Um, and in, in, in real life, it looks... Uh, a bit more yellow than, than, than you can see it here on camera. But it looks kind of fine. It just depends. Um, I don't know. I showed the client via video and he said, okay, ship it over. I want to see it. And we'll see what he will say. But I was thinking about doing it a third time. And that's kind of like maniac a bit. But... That's how you progress as an artist. You you do something, some things go right, so some things go wrong. So I'm already looking for a, a new f a um, varnish, and um, I YouTubed and Googled it, and this varnish maybe t turned brownish yellow because it was not um, varnished in UV light in daylight. I varnished this in my basement. And so they say that um, something react or didn't react, and so it turned yellowish. And w would I have varnished it in UV light or daylight, uh, it would have been fine. I will test that out, but I'm already looking for a new varnish. Um, I'm kind of prepared or e willing to do it also a third time, because it won't take me the same amount of time. It will take me... Um, not less time, but I already know how to get uh, the proportions right, how to prepare the canvas. And bear with me, this is like not painting related, this is artistic related. Like if you do a comic, if you do mistakes, if you do 
any artistic endeavor or even relationships or job or money, you, you will make mistakes and you will learn from this. And the next time you do it, um, the amount of time you took it, it, it took you, it will be kind of halved. And next time it will be kind of halved. And next time it will be kind of halved. And next time it will be kind of halved. And then you reach a certain point where you just have the flow state. And that is where um, compounding interests comes into play. So looking for a new varnish, uh, I will ship it today. I hope um, he, he, he will like it. I mean, it looks fine, but in reality, it looks a bit more yellowish than on the camera. And um, there's also a quote from The War of Art uh, by Stephen Pressfield. And um, he talks about that a professional uh, is patient, that the professional, um, for the love of the game, I mean, as you can see, I love to paint, I love to draw, I love inks, I love art. Um, you couldn't do this unless you love the game. And sometimes he says you need to do you need to um, to do it like a pro for the money, because if you do it just for 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 um, the love of the game, you might get lost or you might not collect the money. So professional seeks order. A professional demystifies acts in the face of fear. Um, a professional accepts no excuses. A professional plays it as it lays. A professional is prepared. A professional does not show off. Uh, a professional dedicates himself to mastering technique. A professional does not hesitate to ask for help. Um, as I did then, um, YouTube or other artists for check for new varnish. A professional distis distances her herself from the instrument. Does not, does, a professional doesn't take failure or success personally and um, a professional endures adversity, a professional self-validates, um, a professional recognizes her li or his limitations, a professional reinvents himself, a professional is recognized by other professionals and so on. And then um, at a certain point, we reach uh, book three, which is the higher realm. And um, the higher realm is filled with muses and inspiration. And uh, yeah, it's a great book. Um, this is a story of probably persistence, failure. Um, and yeah, and do it, doing it all over again to uh, regroup, reassemble and then go in again and doing it the right way. We see us in the next video.